had for five years. Yes, tell us about this podcast. So I've been doing a uh, Juicy Scoop for five years. I just got uh, charted today as number one for a comedy interview this week. Um, it's predominantly funny, but it's also juicy, which is why I call it Juicy Scoop. And it's just been so fun and I'm so grateful to have it, being that I'm a stand-up comedian and I haven't been able to work since March. So it's a great creative outlet and a great way to still be, you know, be funny and creative and work. Absolutely. And you know, there's not many female comedians. You are such a great role model for a lot of young women today. What advice do you have for women that want to get into comedy? Well, I think it's great that you get in all avenues, do your TikTok videos, do your Instagram, do your YouTube, to do a podcast. But then when it's able to open up again and get on stage, that's really what makes stand-up comedians unique to everybody else. And it's a great art that I, I miss, but I think it'll happen again. And But you can watch my special. It's out right now on Amazon Prime Direct. It's called Juicy Scoop, but it's stand-up. So, yeah, I think get out. When, you, when someone laughs at something, write it down, film it, start archiving all of your stuff. Awesome. Well, I'm really excited to check it out. Where can people watch it? Amazon Prime, um, Amazon Prime Video Direct is my po is the special, and then the podcast is Juicy Scoop anywhere where you listen to podcasts, and it's all at heathermcdowell.net. Awesome. Can we expect any more books from you? Your more book, you know, I know you're so great. Thank I you. Love I love that I, book. You know, maybe maybe like in the next couple of years. I feel like when there's like another big chapter in my life, like as my kids get older, I think there's a lot of funny stories about that. So I'd want it to. I'd want to have something to say, so right, so yeah, probably in a couple of years I'll probably have something hopefully come out. I'm, I'm glad that people are rediscovering both my books, You'll Never Blue Ball This Town Again, and My Inappropriate Life, so that's always great, and that's what's great about a book is that it's like a great little calling card, you never know when it's going to, could be something bigger later on. Exactly. If 